Alright, so I just washed my car and I've got pretty much nothing of it on the channel so I thought I'd do a quick walk around and show you everything that's on it before I sell it because I'm going to get rid of it soon. Moving on to something JDM and I'm going to hopefully post a lot of that project on the channel but because I've pretty much finished this car and I didn't really post anything I thought I might as well just show you everything that I've done to it. So, start off with the wheels, they're NK, NK, however you pronounce it, RPF1s, they're 18 by 9 plus 35, and I've got Michelin Pilot Sport, four tyres on it, um, which 225 by 40, so it's is a little bit of stretch, but nothing crazy. I just needed the stretch to um, fit them under the rear guards, which I'll explain further soon. But um, yeah, so it's on coilovers, R5 racing coilovers, which have camber tops on the front. You can't get them on the rear, just because of how the, the coilovers aren't accessible from the top in these cars. But um. Yeah, so I'm running negative two and a half degrees camber in the front, which makes it pretty nice and flush. I went for a sort of aggressive um, fitment that still allows me to drive the car hard. So I had to get hard race rear camber arms in the rear, which um, lets me run negative three and a half. Well, it lets me run more, but I'm running negative three and a half. So it's a pretty tight fitment, but it just works. And yeah, um, for the rest of the exterior, I've got a full Maxton kit. So here we've got Maxton diffuser, Maxton front and sides as well. Uh, I've only had the front lip for about two weeks. And as you can sort of see, already wrecked it. I knew that was going to happen but in my opinion this is the best front looking lip so it's worth it. Um, yeah and just pretty much just small things for the rest of the exterior. Just got rid of the Euro front plate holder and put so, those plugs in. Um, just painted it with color match paint from Super Cheap. Um, just HRC weather visors. Uh, I've got the spoiler wrapped in black. Um, I did want to get one of the Osa carbon spoilers, but I don't know if I'm going to do it now. I think I might just get rid of the car. Um, just black badges, white badge inlay, and the reflectors are wrapped black. And then we'll move on to the exhaust and the performance. So it's got an APR RSC full exhaust system, turbo back. Tips are a bit dirty still, but it's a really cool system. I don't know if you can see anything under there. It's got two straight through mufflers. I got the resonator removed and it's got a 200 cell high flow cap. So, it's, it's, it's quiet on idle, and when you're cruising, and there's literally zero drone at any speed, which is awesome. And then it's really loud when you get on it, so I guess I'll insert some sound clips right here. So yeah, other than the turbo back exhaust, it's running a Volkswagen Racing intake and an Autotech high pressure fuel pump upgrade. So then I get it dyno tuned at Tarmac Engineering in Brisbane, who are really good. I definitely recommend them. 
and it made 194 kilowatts at all four wheels. So um, it was a bit of a low dyno reading. Not exactly sure why that happened, but I've beaten a lot of cars that run like 220, 230 kilowatts on a dyno, so uh, yeah, it's definitely not slow. Might have just been a bad dyno day, but because uh, it's DSG, had to get the DSG tuned as well, which is where they increase the clutch clamping pressures so that it that protects the clutches just if you don't do it it can lead to wear quicker so that's just a good thing to do and also I got variable launch control so I can choose between three four or five thousand rpm what I want to launch up and yeah that's it for the power and I guess we'll move onto the interior. Well, the coolest part of the interior actually is right through there. Got an OCD Euro chassis brace. So this thing stiffens up the rear quite a lot actually. And these cars tend to understeer because of the Haldex system. They're sort of like more, more of a front wheel drive oriented car compared to like a Subaru or an Evo or something like that. So they do understeer, but the brace actually helps quite a lot um, with it. Um, a lot less understeer and the back sort of feels like it wants to get out a bit more. So it's definitely a worthwhile mod. Makes it a bit more fun to drive. I haven't actually done much to the interior. It's just a basic leather interior. And got some blue footwell LEDs. Just some fake carbon paddle shift extensions. Uh, this head unit is an RCD 330 Plus. This is like probably one of my favorite mods for the car, honestly. Because it's a 2011 car, the stock head unit is sort of outdated. This has got Apple CarPlay, which I just love having maps and my Spotify up here. So much better. But other than that, it's pretty basic. But yeah, I really do love this car and I wanted to finish it, I guess. It's, all, it's pretty much finished, but would have done a few more things to make it a bit nicer. But um, I don't know, I'm sort of bored, I guess. It's just, I feel like it would have been more fun if I got a manual, but it's really not that engaging of a car to drive. It's quick, don't get me wrong, like, it's a super good car for P plates, but I do want to move on to something, definitely manual, and I don't know, something real drive, probably, something that teachers will teach me to be a better driver I guess this is just super fast up the mountains and stuff but it's just too easy like you don't you just point point and shoot pretty much like it does exactly what you want it to do it doesn't lose it or anything even though I'm running like a bit of camber and stretch tires and whatever it still handles super well you I don't know how you would get into trouble in something like Well, it's obviously easy to get into trouble because it's fast, but as long as you're sensible, you're not going to lose in a corner or something because these things are just too stale. Computer's going to keep you on the road as well. Traction controls, and that's super good in it. But yeah, definitely stay tuned to the channel. If you like karma and stuff, the next car I'm 100% going to be posting more. Uh, it's going to be a lot more modifiable platform as well, I guess, you could say. So hopefully I'm going to be doing quite a lot. Yeah, leave a comment what you think it will be, or I'm still sort of open to car suggestions. I'm not 100% set, but yeah.